The Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutiambai, was at pains to explain the circumstances under which tenants living on a disputed piece of, or rather disputed pieces of land in Pumwani and Isali were evicted under the watch of his police officers last year. Now, the IG, appearing before the Senate Devolution Committee, failed to explain how the evictions were carried out without proper court orders. And as Brenda Wanga reports, the IG has been instructed, together with the Nairobi Metropolitan Services and the Ministry of Lands, to determine who owns the pieces of land. Violet Ombina's memory of that night in July 2021 is still as clear as it is painful. An employee of the Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company, together with others who were living in staff houses in Pumwani, suddenly found themselves out in the cold during the then COVID-19 imposed curfew. And she blames the police for her predicament then. That is what I was told. Tulika kwa baridi, nani, during curfew hours, na tukona watoto wadogo. Nyumba tumetoleza hata viju mabati vinaenda. Vijana wanatoa na mamawe, watu wako across the, the, the wall, the other side, wamesimama wako stand by, mawe na bomoleo wakichukua. Tulika kwa baridi, tuliibiwa. Watu wako walikuwa thugs, walikuja wakatuibia everything. Awa kubiebu like their police officers keeping order, no. The police chief appearing before the Senate Devolution Committee, however, maintained that that eviction was in order. We don't carry out evictions. We just come to maintain law and order. This is done by another party. Because we stick, strictly stick to our mandate in this Exercise. The senators in the committee faulted the IG and the police for their actions over the disputed land that is claimed by the police themselves, three different churches, a private developer, Pumwani Maternity Hospital and the Nairobi Metropolitan Services. And you know there's only one government and there's only one custodian of titles. Who are we to believe? Those gentlemen there from the church are carrying allotment letters on that land. So in, in a sense, you're saying the church has grabbed police land. That would be the height of impunity. The IG has one week to consult with the Ministry of Lands, the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, and the Attorney General to a certain ownership of the land. In the meantime, to stem further abuse of police powers in land disputes, the IG has instructed his officers to seek clearance from his office before enforcing any eviction orders. Brenda Wanga... Citizen TV, Nairobi.